I call it the missing link as well as the great imitator. Because what I find are these tick-borne diseases mimic other things, right? So when I'm trying to get to the root cause, I find that when I treat these underlying infections, because most people get misdiagnosed because their tests might be falsely negative, or they might get just that standard one day or one week of doxycycline. But as president-elect of ILADS, um, which is International Lyme Associated Disease Society, we have research that shows that this is a clinical diagnosis, just like what you do. You have to listen to your patient, do your due diligence and say, hey, no matter where you live, we need to put these underlying diseases on your differential diagnosis because the symptoms can be so vast, right? And you just won't understand it. And then you treat the infectious process and then those symptoms of fatigue, of anxiety, depression, joint pain, cognitive impairment, even dementia presentations get better. But you definitely won't know until you look. And with the controversy behind the testing, it's pretty hard to do that. Right. 